God, the most beneficent, the most merciful, praise be to Him, the Creator and the Sustainer, the All-Knowing. I begin in His name. I begin in the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I send my peace and blessings upon Muhammad and his holy progeny and I send my condolences to the Imam of our time, Imam al-Mahdi al-Muntadhar. May Allah hasten his reappearance, insha'Allah. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, we have been taking a journey through time. We analyzed Fatima al-Zahra, peace be upon her, and Layatul Qadr. We spoke that Fatima al-Zahra, no matter how much a reader, a researcher, a scholar, begins to research into the depths of understanding my lady Fatima, peace be upon her, he will never reach an omniscient, cognizant understanding of Sayyidah Fatima, peace be upon her. But I also stated that we will narrate to you Manaqib of Fatima al-Zahra. Why? Because it is incumbent upon the believer, upon the Muslim, to understand Fatima in the best way he can so that he may be able to propagate the Fatimiyad message, the message of standing in front of falsehood and enjoining good and forbidding wrong. This is the Fatimiyad message, to defend wilaya, to defend imama, to defend the religion of Islam, to defend anything that is good and reject anything that is wrong. Today, we will focus on this one beautiful hadith, in this hadith, we will extract many beautiful things, many beautiful lessons and examples. This hadith will show you but a scratch on a surface, but a small percentage of the status that my lady Fatima, peace be upon her, has. The following hadith can be found in the Bihar of Al Allama Al Majlisi, volume 43. This volume, Allama Al Majlisi, specifically compiled for Sayyidah Fatima al-Zahra, peace be upon her. It's found on volume 43, page 8, hadith number 11, in the beginning of the volume of Bihar al-Anwar. You see, this following hadith is very, very beautiful, and we are able to extract many lessons and examples from it. Allama al-Majlisi records it from a book by the title of Ayun al-Mu'jizat. We will read the Nas in Arabic and we will translate as we go on and we will explain the hadith insha'Allah ta'ala if God wills it for us in detail. It says, Ruiyah عن حارثة بن قدامة عن سلمان سلمان الفارسي سلمان المحمدي عن عمار عمار says to سلمان the hadith is from سلمان from عمار عمار goes to سلمان he says أخبرك عجبا أو سلمان do you want me to report to you something wondrous something ajeeb that I have just seen? What? What did Ammar see? Ammar saw something that he has never seen before from Amir al muminin the commander of the faithful, peace be upon him. Salman tells him, Hadithni, narrate to me, report to me, O Ammar. He says, he says, Naam, Shahidtu Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam, Wakad Walija ila Fatima to Zahra alayhi salam, Falemma bsarat bihi nadat idnu li uhadithuke, Bima kane, Wabima huwaka in, Wabima lem yakun ila yomil kiyame, Hatta tokumus sa. I want you to picture this. When I read to you this hadith, I want you to close your eyes. Close your eyes and picture this as if it was a play happening in front of you. Sayyidah Fatima, peace be upon her, is in a room. Ammar 
and Amir al Mu'mineen, the commander of the faithful, peace be upon him, are together. They enter to the room. Fatima's eyes begin to see Amir al Mu'mineen coming. As soon as the eyes of Fatima to Zahra'i, peace be upon her, and the eyes of Amir al Mu'mineen match, Sayyidah Fatima, may my soul and my ruh be sacrificed for her. She says, Ya Abu al Hassan, look at the way Fatima to Zahra'i, first of all, look at the way. Fatima to Zahra, peace be upon her, speaks to the commander of the faithful. She calls him Ya Abel Hassan. She calls him by his kunya. She does not say Ya Ali, come. She says Ya Abel Hassan. We are able to extract lessons from this hadith. These lessons is the method in which wife and husband should interact. Ya Abel Hassan Idnu Minni, come closer to me so that I may narrate to you. I may narrate to you of the past, of the present, of the future. Hatta taqoom sa'a. Meaning what? Until the day of judgment. I will narrate to you, Ya Amir al Mu'mineen, this knowledge that was bestowed upon me by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This knowledge that was bestowed upon me by who? By my father Muhammad, peace be upon him and his family. You see here in this hadith, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the progeny and the household of Muhammad, peace be upon him and his family, it's trying to inform us of, look, this is the maqam of Fatima to Zahra, peace be upon her. It does not technically, technically mean that she is more knowledgeable than Amir al Mu'mineen. Sometimes, as I have stated before, the Ahlul Bayt, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran as well, uses this methodology. This methodology, which is what? Giving a story, telling a story. Because if this story was not told, if Ammar did not see this, we would not have somebody to come and transcribe this hadith so that we Shia would have this hadith today. She narrates to him, a teacher, Amir al Mu'mineen, a student, a queen. Hence, hence why I called, I called this episode the queen of Ali ibn Abi Talib, peace be upon him. The hadith continues. Qala Ammar. فرأيت أمير المؤمنين عليه السلام يرجع القهقرة. This is the most important part of the hadith. Imagine you are speaking to a loved one. You have so much respect and honor for that loved one that you cannot. You have so much respect and honor to that loved one that you cannot back away. You cannot turn your back to him or to her. Amir al Mu'mineen, peace be upon him, when he finished his conversation with Fatima al Zahra, he began to move backwards meaning walking backwards and his eyes stayed on Fatima to Zahra peace be upon her he did not leave his back towards my lady Fatima peace be upon her do you understand and see how Amir al-Mu'mineen peace be upon him treats his mother treats his wife Fatima to Zahra, peace be upon her. He treats her like this. Why did I tell you that when we narrate the incident of the door, it will hurt you even more? 
it will hurt you even more because now you see the way Amir al Mu'mineen treats Fatima, then you see the way the enemies of Fatima to Zahra, peace be upon her, treated Fatima to Zahra. The hadith continues. He says, Ammar, فَرَأَيْتُ أَمِيرَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامِ يَرْجَعُ الْقَهْقَرَ فَرَجَعْتُ بِرَجُوعِهِ إِذْ دَخَلَ عَلَى النَّبِيَّ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَآلِهِ وَسَلَّمْ فَقَالَ لَهُ إِدْنُ مِنِّي يَا أَبَا الْحَسَنِ فَدَنَا مِنْهُ فَلَمَّ طْمَأَنَّ بِهِ الْمَجْلِسِ قَالَ لَهُ النَّبِيِّ Ammar went with Amir al-Mu'mineen, the commander of the faithful, peace be upon him. They walked until they entered the room of the Apostle of Allah Muhammad, peace be upon him and his holy family. As soon as Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam saw Amir al-Mu'mineen, he told him, Ya Abu al-Hasan, come close to me. Abu al-Hasan came close to Rasulullah. They exchanged their greetings. When the greetings was finished, Rasulullah said to him, Tuhaddithani wa muhaddithak. Should I narrate to you or you narrate to me? They continue. Abu al-Hasan alayhi salam says, Al-Hadith min ka ahsan ya Rasulullah. He says the Hadith from you, the narration from you. Then Rasulullah said to Abu al-Hasan, he said to Abu al-Hasan, come closer to me so that I may narrate to you. And then Rasulullah, peace be upon him and his holy family, began to narrate to Imam Ali alayhi salam. The Nas says, it said, Rasulullah says, كَأَنِّي بِكَ وَقَدْ دَخَلْتُ عَلَى فَاطِمَةِ وَقَالَتْ لَكَ كَيْتَ وَكَيْتَ Rasulullah is informing Amir al-Mu'mineen, the commander of the faithful, peace be upon him, of what just occurred with him, between him and Sayyidah Fatima, peace be upon her. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has informed him of what happened. He says to him, it is as if I saw you enter upon Fatima and she told you such and such, meaning the entire event, the entire conversation that happened between Rasulullah, peace be upon him, and his holy family, and between Fatima to Zahra, peace be upon him. دَخَلْتُ عَلَى فَاطِمَةً وَقَالَتْ لَكَ كَيْتَ وَكَيْتَ فَقَالَ عَلِي عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامِ Ali alayhi salam says, نُورُ فَاطِمَةً مِنْ نُورُنَا Ali alayhi salam tells the Prophet, is the nur, the light of Fatima, this light in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us, is this nur from our nur? As you know, Rasulullah says, he says that the nur, the nur that I was created from, Ali ibn Abi Talib was created from. So here, Ali ibn Abi Talib, peace be upon him, is telling Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is the nur of Fatima the same nur as our nur? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, فَقَالْ أَوَلَا تَعْلَمْ Did you not know that? Again, like I mentioned, this is merely a play put forth by Rasulullah so that this message of the greatness of Fatima to Zahra, peace be upon her, can be seen. Then Rasulullah told him, and then Amir al-Mu'mineen, peace be upon him, right away prostrated in thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. After he finished his prostration, Ammar says, Ali ibn Abi Talib got up, فَقَالَ Ammar, خَرَجَ أَمِيرَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامِ وَخَرَجْتُ بِخُرُوجِهِ وَخَرَجْتُ بِخُرُوجِهِ فَوَلَجَ إِلَى فَاطِمَةِ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامِ Ammar says, Amir al-Mu'mineen departed from Rasulullah, peace be upon him and his holy family. And he left. And then he went back to Sayyidah Fatima, peace be upon her. Now, Sayyidah Fatima will begin 
to inform Ali, peace be upon him, of how she was created. He went and Sayyidah Fatima said, كأنك رجعت إلى أبي صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم فأخبرته بما قلت لك. See, Fatima the Zahra, peace be upon her, was also informed by Allah subhanahu wa taala of the conversation that Ali ibn Abi Talib and Imam Ali had with Rasul Allah, peace be upon him and his holy family. She tells him, it's as if I saw you, Ya Abu al-Hasan, go to Rasulullah and speak to him of what happened with us from a while back, just a few minutes ago. قال, كان كذلك يا فاطمة. He tells her, yes, that is exactly what happened, O Fatima. فقالت فاطمة, now Sayyidah Fatima will begin to narrate to you how she was created. This is almost the khitam of the hadith, the end of the hadith, insha'Allah. It says, Ya Abu al-Hasan, Inna Allah ta'ala khalaqa nuri, wa kana yusabbihu Allah jalla jalaluhu, thumma awda'ahu shajaratin min shajar al-jannah. فأضاءت فلما دخل أبي الجنة أوحى الله تعالى إليه إلهاما إن اقتطف الثمرة من تلك الشجرة. What happened here? Lady Fatima tells him, let me tell you, يا أبا الحسن. Allah سبحانه وتعالى created my nur, my light in the universe before. The universe of light particles. He took my nur, and I used to glorify Allah Subhanahu wa Taala and supplicate to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala and pray to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala in my state as a nur, as a light particle, existing in that space of Allah. Then Allah Subhanahu wa Taala took one of the trees in paradise and he placed my nur, he placed my light in this tree. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to my father Muhammad, peace be upon him and his holy family, through revelation and he told them, Ya Muhammad, go and eat from the fruits that this tree bore. وَأَدَرَّهَا فَفَعَلْ فوعدني الله سبحانه صلب أبي ثم أودعني خديجة بنت خويلد فوضعتني وأنا من ذلك النور أعلم ما كان وما يكن وما لم يكن يا أبا الحسن After رسول الله ate this beautiful fruit in heaven Sayyidah Fatima became part of رسول الله became part of the loins of رسول الله Rasulullah came to Khadija and then my lady Khadija, peace be upon her, bore and gave birth to Sayyidah Fatima, peace be upon her. وَأَنَا مِنْ ذَلِكَ النُّورِ يَا أَبَا الْحَسَنِ I am from that light in heaven. I am from that light in heaven. And I know I have been taught the knowledge of the past and the present and the future. يَا أَبَا الْحَسَنِ إِنَّ الْمُؤْمِنِ يَنْظُرُ بِنُورِ اللَّهِ She says, Ya Abu al-Hasan, the believer, the believer looks through the nur of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The believer witnesses the nur of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the hadith. This is the status of my lady Fatima, peace be upon her. She was created from that thamara in paradise, which is why Rasulullah, peace be upon him and his holy family, says, Whenever I long for the fragrance of paradise, I smell the neck of Fatima. 
his companions told him, Ya Rasulullah, why is it I see you always hugging and kissing your daughter? He tells him, it's because I long for the fragrance of paradise. And when I went to paradise, I ate from this tree. And this tree bore me Fatima to Zahra, peace be upon her. Do you now see how Amir al Mu'mineen treated Fatima to Zahra, peace be upon her? He would respect her and honor her. And he would walk without giving his back to say the Fatima. You see the door behind me? Do you see the Bab behind me? When Fatima faced that door, did they also back away? When they told them, Ya Aba Hafs, in the fil bayti Fatima, he said, Wa in. When they told him, in the house is Fatima, he says, Whatever. Do you think I care who is in the house? Look at how Amir al Mu'mineen treats Sayyida Fatima. And look at how the damned and cursed ones of Quraysh dealt with Fatima. They did not attack her house once or twice, they attacked her house three or four times, as the ahadith say. And insha'Allah, in the coming episodes, we will discuss the oppression of Sayyida Fatima, peace be upon her. Peace be upon you, my lady Fatima. And may Allah hasten the reappearance of my master, Al Imam Al Mahdi Al Muntadar. Ajal Allah Ta'ala Faradu Al Sharif. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Mm-hmm.